Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of January 2023. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Virgo. <clears throat> Oof. the overall energy for the reading the wheel of fortune well you're in a transitional period uh hopefully for the better there's a lot of heavy energies here but uh we'll see starting off the reading you get the five of cups crossed by the knight of swords um, you're heading straight into this energy of, uh, what do I call this? It, it almost feels like you're in the middle of repeating something from the past, something that didn't turn out quite positive here. Uh, you're heading straight up towards this energy. So it looks like a pattern is coming up for you and it's not a great one. It's not feeling good in your focus here. A lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain. In the recent past, the King of Wands, there's an energy that I feel like it's someone close to you, someone that, you know, um, you probably shared something with. I'm still seeing this energy in the current situation, but a little off to the side somehow. Like you're going through whatever this is, kind of like all on your own, even though this energy may still be by your side there somehow. Um, but it's looking more clear here in the past as if, okay, this is someone really there, you know, not to the side necessarily. In your strength, the seven of pentacles, trying to work on things. Um, in the immediate future, the two of wands, a little bit of patience. Um, in the, in the supportive energies, the three of wands. Interesting, because this comes through as an energy that, like, I feel like you've been in this situation for a, for a minute. You know, it's been it's been going on for a little while here, where you almost self isolated in this pain of whatever this is, you know, but not realizing it necessarily. Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Page of Swords. It's not... Like, usually when I see this kind of an energy, I see people either starting to be consciously aware of it, or trying to work with it. There's a little bit here on your side in terms of, yeah, yeah, yeah I know it's here, but there's more frustration than trying to work with it, you know? Um, there's still a little bit of you that's kicking and screaming here, you know? Telling me this situation kind of sucks. And I get it, it does. It does feel like it sucks. In the in your hopes and fears, the Ten of Wands, things are tough. Things are heavy. They're difficult. And you're hoping that they won't get even more difficult. Uh, for the potential outcome, the Ten of Swords, an energy of defeat. Um, hmm. Let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see that Wheel of Fortune. And my hands are dried up. Not really. Minus 30 degrees, of course they are. Not that I go out there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going out there. I don't care what happens. All right, uh, for the Wheel of Fortune, you get the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. Right. Yeah, there is here an energy that's weird, because I don't know if that's your energy or if it's the available energy. There's definitely a, a push through this, this. Uh, a sense of, I really want to work on things i really want for this energy to not be in here anymore and for that i know i have to work on it there's a little bit of confusion on how to work with it but overall the intention is to work on this crap because I, I don't see much work being done currently just kind of going through it 
you know, there's a little bit of you here, but okay. So things might change in that direction of, all right, let's get things done here. You know, um, let's do the five of cups. strength card the knight of wands the two of pentacles there was more determination here there's there's something there's almost like a cycle that you keep on repeating and then you fall back into this place in terms of how it feels and i feel like again it, it happened before for you um but there seemed to be before at least there seemed to be a little more uh what do you call it like a little like a little more from you to take care of it, to work with it, to heal, whatever this is. Um, there was confusion then too. There's more energy from you coming into this. Kind of like, yeah, you know, I, I know I kind of have this issue where I get myself into the same place and there was a little more from you in the past than it is now for some reason. It almost feels like you got stuck in something and then you keep on doing the same thing over and over again. And it's hard to untangle yourself from it. Let's do the Knight of Swords. The Seven of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Whew. Thinking of too many things at once. There's definitely this as you feel this energy coming in and as you approach this energy and you find yourself in the middle of it, you start thinking in millions of directions, you know, about it. What is it? Why is it here? How did it get here? I recognize this energy. Where did it come from? Why does it keep showing up? Why does it keep happening? Blah, 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 blah. In all sorts of directions with it. Um, <clears throat> and it gets very confusing and it gets very stressful and tiresome. You know, uh, it doesn't it doesn't really bring any kind of relief. It doesn't really take you anywhere in this situation. <clears throat> the more you think about it and the more you anal analyze what's going on, you know, opening the door for all sorts of possibilities here. Instead of taking what is, instead of just being with how it feels, even if it feels crappy. <clears throat> It's gonna get even more complicated. Let's do the three of swords in your focus. The four of swords, the world card, the fool. You're trying to end the cycle. Realistically speaking here, your higher self at least is in this place where this needs to get done. This needs to not happen anymore. You know, um, there's a lot of healing in the background there over this cycle. So even though physically you're not doing much, just mentally you're doing a lot a little too much um <clears throat> energetically speaking there is healing there that's happening currently because there's that desire to free yourself from this freaking repetitive pattern or cycle whatever you want to call it uh i don't know what it is it's your own little wheel that you jump on and then it's hard to get off you know and again, you've been there before in the past, you're there right now. It's one of those things where the, think of the will as your mental state. And it's running and it's running and it's running and it's running in circles over and over and over again. And it feels like you can't stop it, you can't jump off of it, you know? So I am not sure what this is about for you, what it's tied up to, I just see what it's doing for you basically let's do the seven of pentacles in your strength the five of swords the wheel of fortune the page of pentacles uh -huh. so you're seeing yourself 10 steps ahead in this one when you're actually just at the beginning of entering this realm of how do i freaking stop this wheel or how do i heal um in this pattern you're seeing yourself as oh no i got it handled it's not it's not doing anything it's 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 almost like one of those things where if you look at any one of your friends and let's say they have an addiction situation right and from the outside it's easy for you to say mm, okay I have trouble with this and then they're gonna come to you and say no nah, you know I just do it one once a month or something or 
doesn't affect me. Where they think, no, they're making progress and everything's working fine because they do it once a month instead of once a day. You know, whatever it is. I don't know, smoking, drinking, whatever. So you're kind of looking at this and you're like, okay, okay, but you know, you didn't make any kind of progress. You think you have and you, it's kind of like this for you in this situation. There's this energy that you're experiencing over and over and over again where you put yourself into the the pit of your own mind, basically. And it's creating all of these crazy ass energies for you where it's getting you to the point of you feel defeated. You feel like you can't do anything anymore, you know? And you're sitting there and you're telling me, no, there's progress here. Look at me making progress. And with the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Pentacles, it's kind of like you kind of need to go back to the basis of this. You kind of need to start as if you're just starting today on this situation. Because I don't know if there's progress, because these energies keep on popping up the same. So when I see that, I really progress there. But you tell yourself that. That's what makes it deceptive with the Five of Swords. You know? So the Two of Wands. In the immediate future, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, again, the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> You're basically by entertaining this energy right here, which I know you're not doing, doing consciously, you know, it's something that you really want to heal, but by feeding these energies that are not healthy for you because they don't make you feel good and i see that um you might actually push away energies that are around you that are good for you so it might get to that point you know there's definitely emotional detachment here and it's just a matter of time by the looks of it the more you entertain these energies, the more you entertain the idea of, let me see what the hell is the root of this and let me try to heal it and let me be honest with myself about this healing, then we've got a different story. But for right now, as long as these energies keep on being fed <clears throat> instead of dealt with, there could be the possibilities that energies around you that are good for you might fall off, you know? Let's do the Three of Wands for the supportive energies. King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Three of Cups. You got something that you rely on by the looks of it. Um, there's something stable there in terms of material stability, emotional stability. There's something that you're showing me. There's something that I always fall off on. And it's good. It's feeling good. It's stable. It's what you would call home or something like that. And it could be a person, it could be, but there's something that's always there, whatever you do. So it could be that because of that, you're like, ah, whatever, you know, again, not consciously. I don't see you doing all of these things consciously, but in the back of your mind there, because you now, you know, you have a, you know, safe spot to land on. Do you know? Um, you might take it for granted or you might take everything else for granted. And that's why things might start crashing around you. Um, as to the Page of Swords and the Hidden Energies. The Seven of Swords, the Judgment card, the Six of Wands. As I said, somewhere in the background, healing is happening. But as long as there's no participation on your side in the physical realm, in terms of, okay, I got to get to the bottom of this. I got to see what this is. Um, this healing is going to be harder. Very hard to do. It's kind of like you're healing, yes, from a soul perspective, but it has to apply to the human perspective. And where is that? Well, I'm going to do a little bit here, a little bit there, or whatever, you know, I've got it all settled. It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know. Then why does it feel like crap if it's fine? You know? Let's do the Ten of Wands. In your hopes and fears. The Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Just 
Yeah, it's, it's a self-isolation kind of a thing, which you're doing without even realizing that you're doing. Because I see, now I see, like, those energies that I told you might start to fall off, like friends or whatever, whatever you got going on around you, that I repeat, is good for you. Um, they're starting to fall off here, and you see this, you know, you kind of somehow know this, that that might be a possibility. Which makes things even harder. So it almost feels like you're in this place of, oh, I'm all alone. What's happening? Why is there nobody here anymore? You know? Where that's your fear that you're going to end up, which is telling me, so you're seeing the effects of this. If left unhealed. Let's do the Ten of Swords for the potential outcome. The Ace of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Temperance card. Yeah, it's one of those things where it almost looks like intentionally you need to fall in that pit of demise, basically, of feeling like, okay, that I'm done. I, like, I, I, I don't know where to go, what to do. I don't know what's up with me. I don't know shit. And the minute you fall in there, it's basically up to you to lift yourself back up, but there is some help next to you. There is a soul connection that shows up next to you right there when you go down that rabbit hole, you know, to pull you back out. Um, ultimately, it is up to you, so remember that, but for some reason, these energies are leading me in that place of, and we've all been there at least once in our lives where everything turns to shit, everything just crumbles. And it's because, you know, the universe kind of tries to, to have us lose pretty much everything because it's not necessarily ours. So from that to, to kind of emerge as ourselves. Kind of feel like this is one of those processes for you. You've got help. You've got assistance. Don't count on that, though. It's really up to you at the end of the day. Um, man, this is a tough reading. You haven't had such a tough reading in a very long time. Let me see what the universe has to close it off. The King of Swords, the Fool, the Chariot. <laughs> You're ready. You're like, bring it on. You know, bring the downfall on. Uh, you are ready. Because you know you can only go up from that point. You know? But right now, you look like you're in the middle of the, the, the fall. And you can prevent that, by the way. It doesn't have to go all the way down for you to realize what's happening and start working with it. You can actually prevent that. And even from a conscious perspective, even from a soul perspective here, uh, you are on this healing train, basically. And you see that. You're aware of that. You acknowledge that. So there is a part of you that recognizes this as a lesson. You probably don't understand the lesson right now, but you will. Let's do the Shaman's Dream Oracle. Lost in space, needing direction. Okay. Sometimes in life we lose our way, perhaps falling prey to addictive behaviors, jealousy, comparison, resistance, or fear. This happens especially when we are up, up leveling and genuinely changing for the better. A part of us, hiding in the vast expansiveness of space, wants to sabotage our progress. In the transformation process, our inner world no longer feels safe or inhabitable as we find that our thoughts and beliefs have morphed beyond recognition. Yeah, you're in the middle of this process. And uh, it doesn't feel pretty, but I promise it's going to get better. Um, and you know that you've been in that place of down and then up, you know, probably not as harsh as this one. But um, yeah, you're going to be fine. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.